Hello and welcome to another help video from MindServe. On this one we're going to look at uh, Microsoft Word and how to actually make the background of the page a different colour. Now firstly, we open up Microsoft Word. Second time lucky. Now as you will see that um, my page is already blue, that's because I've preset it, but I will go through again with you to show you what to do. Right, along the top here, you'll see various different tabs do there, various different things, okay? Now, over time, you will find various videos that I've done that will tell you what all these different things do, but just for now, for today, we're doing this one, so we click on page layout, and if you look here and it says page colour, click that and now just hover over the colours, don't click anything, just run the mouse over them. It's a good thing with Office uh, 2010 and upwards, they've done this where if you just hover over various different things, it will show you what they will look like. Um, this is something they didn't do in the previous versions, or not that I know of anyway. Right, so let's just assume you want this one, okay? So I've done that one. Now if you left click on the mouse, okay, you now have that. Now a lot of people say to me, you know, well this is great, but then when I print it out, it's gonna waste loads of ink. Well the fact is it won't, because what this will do now is when it prints, it will print just the text. It won't print the background, okay? You can program it were to do that if you wanted to but you're going to be using a lot of ink so I wouldn't recommend it. So if I just do uh, this uh, I'm not the world's fastest typer. Okay so I've typed that so I've got black writing on uh, sort of an eggshell peachy background. Okay now if I go to print, now you can also print by selecting control on the keypad, which for those not sure where it is, control button is normally right on the bottom set of keys where the space bar is, and it'll be at the end, uh, normally right at the far left hand side, okay? So you can print by pushing that down and holding the letter P down at the same time. But just for this one, I'm going to do it this way, so click on print and that shows you how to print, as you can see you've got black writing white background, okay now, it's a bit of a pain if every time you open Word you've got to keep going on to this and doing this, so what we're going to do is clear any text, okay, now at this point I'm hoping you have Microsoft Word open you're doing this, if not open it now and I'll wait a minute for it to open and then I'll go through this with you again, okay? Right, hopefully you should have Microsoft Word open by now um, if you're not, then pause this video and then we carry on when it's actually done Right, so you got your page, okay, so we go again, page layout, select your colour, I'll go back to my previous colour, left click the mouse, now don't type anything at this point, I want you to go to file, and save as, okay, not just save, it's got to be save as, so click on save as, I want you to scroll up on this one, click desktop and give it a name. You can call it whatever you like. I call mine blue template. So if, um, if you say whatever the colour is and you say the colour uh, word template, okay? Let's do that. Now click save. Okay, now close word and you will have whatever you did 
you'll have it appear up now because I've done a new one. I'll get rid of that one. Yeah, and I got blue word template. Now, from now on, every time you use Microsoft Word to do a document or any work, open this one. If you open the normal Word icon, then you will get the white screen again. Okay, but if you want the, the coloured screen, keep this on the desktop and use this as your main word icon. So if we open this, left click on it twice, as you can see, you've got your blue screen. Now, some people again sort of say, yeah, that's fair enough, but what about saving and stuff like that? The simple rule to that one is on the first save, so if I type something here, okay, on the first save of each document, okay, do your document, right, and then go to File and do Save As, okay. Now give it a new name, so if I do BBSBB, okay, and then Obviously here you save it to wherever it's got to go. So if you've got my documents and you've got your university coursework and those documents, you select that. Just for the save, I'm gonna select desktop now. So you select save. Okay. Now if you have done it on the desktop, you will notice that another icon has appeared on the desktop. So you'll have the one that says originally the colour screen, and then you'll have this one which is whatever you've just worded as. Okay. Now, as long as you've done the first one on this as save as, whilst you've got this document open, everything then can just be done as save. You haven't got to do save as again on this document, okay? So you can either do control S, which will just save, or you can click up here and save, okay? And that will just save you at the point you are, right? Now, Microsoft Word, I believe, is preset to save every 10 minutes anyway. But to be on the safe side, and I've seen a lot of people lose a lot of coursework for this, every few minutes while you're doing it, just do Control S together. Okay, and if I close this now, and then grab that one, as you can see, I have my template, and I have what would be my coursework as well. Okay, so that's it. That's how you do that one, and thank you for looking.